Welcome to the Manifestation Bay podcast. My name is Katherine Zinkina, and I'm a manifestation expert, master mindset coach, and multiple seven-figure entrepreneur. I'm obsessed with helping you achieve everything that you once thought was impossible. If you're looking to massively up-level your life, your finances, your relationships, your productivity and success, then you have come to the right place. My goal in this podcast is to help you see the infinite potential within yourself to be, do, and have anything that your heart desires. Think of this podcast as your weekly dose of mindset development to help you maximize who you are and where you're going. Leave it to me to provide you with the tools, the resources, the strategies, and teachings that you need to manifest a reality wilder than your wildest dreams. I know we're about to have so much fun together, so thank you so much for pushing play today, and now let's begin. Hello, gorgeous souls, and welcome back to the Manifestation Bay podcast. I am so excited, honored, and grateful that you are here and that you chose to download this very special episode of the podcast. As we have just stepped out of what's been collectively one of the hardest years for so many people... I wanted to bring light as to what's been going on in the last 12 months and what you can expect to see in the next 12 months as a result. This episode is my way, my personal way of tuning into spirit, receiving guidance that I've channeled and sharing that guidance with you to help you maximize the new decade that we have just stepped into. 2019 was a hard, hard year for so many people because we have been on the edge of a major shift. More people have woken up in the last decade than all previous decades combined. More people have come to realize that they are a spiritual being in human form. More people have come to realize that there's a lot more going on behind the scenes in the metaphysical plane than there is here on the physical plane. More people than ever before have awoken to the fact that they are simply not living the life of their dreams, that they are living far below their potential, if at all, and are no longer responding to the frequency or at the frequency of their current jobs, relationships, living situations, and current energy levels. More people than ever before have made massive life changes in 2019 than all years prior. And more people have awoken to the imbalance between the masculine and feminine energy and just how much society values the masculine hustle, hustle, hustle over the feminine flow, which is causing us to feel unbalanced too. More people have awoken to how much pain and suffering we've endured to one another, to ourselves and to Mother Earth. So many of us have awoken to the impacts of our choices, decisions, and actions on ourselves other people, and the environment that surrounds us. More than ever, we have realized that in order for us to raise the frequency of this planet, we must break down the chains and the shackles that hold us down as prisoners of our own limited thinking, perceptions, judgments, and beliefs. 2019 was a massive awakening year for so many of us. It was beautiful. It was enlightening. It was illuminating. But the reason it was so hard was because for the first time ever, we let in light to shine on our darkness as well as a collective consciousness, on our wounds, on our pains, on our shadows, on that we have not accepted about ourselves, on that which we have not yet taken responsibility for. It was very illuminating and it was very healing. In 2019, we learned that healing ourselves involved us choosing to no longer numb ourselves and to finally feel into what's no longer serving us. In order for us to awaken, we had to grow. We were stretched. We were pulled in many directions. We were pushed down and then pulled back up again. And our ego battled us every single step of the way. Not because our ego is against our own evolution, but because our ego doesn't understand our soul's evolution. The ego has no concept of connectedness. For all the ego knows, it is its own separate entity with absolutely no connection to our true selves, which is the soul self, and also one another to each other. But that's okay, because the moment we know this, 
We can thank our ego for being there for us, keeping us anchored here in the physical plane and giving us more of a reason to grow, to experience resistance as we get to know our souls. But this pushing and pulling has exhausted us. We are tired, burnt out, exhausted because so many changes have happened in such a little time frame. So much uncertainty we had to learn to get comfortable with. So much discomfort we had to welcome into our lives. But it was all done for this shift. It was all done for the best reasons. Because if 2019 was a hard year for you, it means that you have awoken. Maybe not for the very first time, but perhaps it was a second, third, fourth, maybe even fifth awakening for you. Either way, congratulations. You have done the work. You've made it through. You've done your part in raising the consciousness of this planet by refusing to sleep through all that the universe has in store for you. You see, as one frees themselves, they free everyone around them. As one awakens, they awake the others around them too. If 2019 was a hard year for you, then please rejoice. 2020 is the next step for you, but a much rewarded step. 2020 is the year where you will collect the fruits of your labor from 2019 and all years past. 2020 is where you will be rewarded for all the risks you took on, the changes you have made, and all the uncertainties that you have braved through. 2020 is going to be whatever it is that you want it to be. It's a year of your own choice. It is a manifestation of the consciousness that you choose to tune into and express outward into the physical world. 2020 is going to be potent for those who have signed up to be the trailblazers, the visionaries, and the change makers of their world. 2020 is the year of the visionary, where you will create the best, most epic, most rewarding vision for your life, and then literally live it out, receiving all of the joy, abundance, love, clarity, inner peace, and strength that you could ever need to set the tone for this upcoming decade. 2020 isn't going to be perfect, but it will be perfect in how it unfolds for you. And I'm here to remind you that there is nothing to fear. There is nothing to worry about. There is no pain or suffering to expect. There is only love. There is only joy. And there is only creation. Honor the universes or gods or whatever you resonate with's presence within you. So universe's presence, God's presence, I am presence within you by declaring that 2020 is going to be your year. And as you declare this for yourself, know that as we are all one, you are also declaring this for everybody else around you. Remember that you are a leader. You are a trailblazer. You are a change maker and you are a light worker. I wish you a happy new year, a prosperous new decade, and for many, many, many blessings to come your way. Happy 2020, babes. I will catch you in the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode. If you absolutely loved what you heard today, be sure to share it with me by leaving a review on iTunes so that I can keep the good stuff coming your way. If you aren't already following me on social media, come soak up the extra inspiration on Instagram by following at Manifestation Babe or visiting my website at manifestationbabe.com. I love and adore you so much and can't wait to connect with you in the next episode. In the meantime, go out there and manifest some magic.